What's up guys? In today's video, we are going to be painting a car, a 63 Plymouth Valiant, and we're going to be showing the differences between a $25 gun, actually it might be $20, a $20 paint gun, and a $1,000 paint gun. The differences in how they spray, the differences in why, why one is so much more expensive than the other one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and actually paint the car. We're going to do the roof with the cheap gun because it's two-tone paint it's uh, white on top blue on the bottom we're going to do the roof with the cheap gun and we're going to do the body with the expensive gun and we're going to see how it out So, what is the verdict? Well, the verdict is cheaper gun um, actually laid out just fine. If, if you were using, if you're wanting to do two paint jobs a year, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't feel bad for anybody if they had that gun. I wouldn't think anything less of them. Uh, the problem is when you get to painting consistently, that's when those start to break down. Um, we could already tell the second time we sprayed it, we've used it twice now. The second time we sprayed it, it just, it didn't seem as smooth. It's a lot harder to clean out uh, than the nicer gun is. Um, the parts are just kind of clunky and you know, you, they just don't like to be cleaned as much. It doesn't, it doesn't come apart as easy. Um, whereas your nicer gun, you know, there's three filters before it even gets out the, it gets out of the gun. Um, the Harbor Freight one has one, so just stuff kind of gets clogged up and built up. Obviously, the $1,000 gun sprays out nicer. Um, it's smoother. It, you're spraying actually more product is hitting the car instead of just getting airborne like it is with your cheaper guns. You can see in the video, when we're spraying the roof, this whole shop is fogged out. Well, that's all, you know, that's all product. So as expensive as paint is, you got, you know, you got thousands of dollars of paint here. Obviously you're not losing that much, but it is, you know, if you're running a full-time business that, you know, 1% or 2% of your paint over time is gonna add up to, you know, a shitload of paint you're losing. Um, you don't have as much of that with the nicer gun. It's still gonna need, they're both gonna need cut and buffed. Um, they're always going to, especially when you're doing like a nicer paint job. Uh, you always want it to be big, smooth. If you're doing if you're doing your first paint job and you're going to try something, 100% go for a Harbor Freight gun. I mean, I know a lot of guys probably already thought that anyway, but even if you're a middle of the road guy that's a you know a decent painter, I don't think there's anything wrong with you know shooting a, a cheap gun uh, that maybe you know you keep one for prime, keep one for clear, keep one for paint. Um, I think it would work out great for you. Um, thousand dollar gun is hard to swallow unless you're doing this every day if you're doing this every day and or you're going to be doing a lot of work where it needs to be consistent needs to be perfect that's the gun you want to go for obviously but um i mean this kind of shows you that you can really if you're a good enough painter you can really spray with about anything but um as far as just kind of the naked eye you can't tell which one's which uh which 
it's, it's great for guys. I know a lot of guys, you know, painting is a, a kind of a scary thing to do, but uh, you, you don't have to you don't have to break the bank to uh, put a nice paint job down. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, share, like, all that good shit they tell you to do at the end of videos. And uh, check some more of my videos out. Bye.